I was catching the Newcastle Metro recently. I've not done this often before, and not for several years, but I did remember it has level access throughout, so I assumed I wouldn't need assistance, but I had no idea where to get on the train. See if you can spot where the wheelchair space will be on this train. Did you spot it? Neither did I, but it is there, if you know what you're looking for. There's nothing at the station, nothing on the platform, and nothing on the doors. I only spotted it by freeze-framing my video afterwards. I'll slow the video down and point it out. I would say it's obvious when you know what you're looking for, but it's not. I didn't spot it, so I asked the help point where to get on. Hello? Hiya, please, which bit of the train should I get on in my wheelchair? I'm, I'm wanting to get on this next train and I'm wondering which doors I should get on in my wheelchair or which bit of the platform to be. Um, have you boarded and alighted a train before on your wheelchair on your own? Uh, yeah, but... Um, okay, so uh, what you could do is go to the front of the train. Okay. And um, just make yourself uh, known or aware um, in, in sight of the driver so he knows not to, to, obviously, to, to obviously wait for you to board the train. Okay. Uh, platform 2 at Central Station. Let me see if there's staff there. I'll ask them to come down, okay? Oh, uh, thank you. I'm going to Regent Centre. Regent Centre. They'll be able to put you on the train. I don't know about taking you out. Are you, uh, have you booked in a ramp, or something? No, I didn't know I had to. Yeah, no, there, there's no ramp where that can be allocated um, on the spot at the moment. You need to book in a ramp assist four hours prior to your journey. Right. Well, I'll see if staff can come um, and um, obviously put you on the train, okay? Is it supposed to be a level access though? Should, should I need a ramp or will it be all right? There's a gap. It is level access, but there's a gap between all right. the platform interface. Okay, right. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. That's not confidence inspiring. On the UK mainline rail network, for disabled people who choose to book assistance, we only have to give two hours notice, and in any case, it's the right to turn up and go. We can turn up at any station that is accessible to us and expect assistance to be provided. London Underground do this. So why do Metro need four hours notice? Consequently, when the train got in, I got on at the wrong door. It doesn't look it in the video, but the gap was pretty scary to cross in an electric wheelchair. I spent my journey being in everybody's way whenever they wanted to get on or off, which was dangerous and uncomfortable. I was then understandably nervous as to the size of the gap I would have to bump over at the end of the journey. Happily, it wasn't too bad.
Non-disabled people can turn up and go and follow clear instructions where to get on and off the train. Why aren't wheelchair users given the same right? 